the main comments that I'll get about my work, even from fellow artists, are just that, wow, I never thought to paint on a fish. And I think my work is pretty unique in that sense. I don't think you can get more of a unique canvas than a three-dimensional fish that someone caught in the ocean on a, on a trip. I've had a couple pieces that were almost on the verge of getting thrown out because they were in bad shape and no longer wanted, so bringing these pieces back to life has been very rewarding for me as an artist. My name is Jake Jones and I am the artist behind Fresh Fish Studios. I repaint vintage taxidermy fish in bright colors and Polynesian style graphics and I hand carve surfboards that may have been damaged and kind of reimagine them into works of art. The very first fish I ever painted, I um, found a about a six foot sailfish for sale on Craigslist. Repainted it in like a lime green and purple and blue sail and ended up with this pretty dramatic piece. I then put it for sale back on Craigslist. Someone bought it almost immediately and uh, that's when I kind of thought I might be on to something. A lot of these are made of fiberglass and it's almost like working on a car. Some of them require bodywork, some require sanding, some require repair. I like to spray the fish in automotive paint for durability's sake and the, the quality of the paint just has a depth to it. I, I really like spraying in candy paints and metal flakes, really make the colors pop. There's plenty of places to buy realistic taxidermy fish and I want mine to be reimagined as artwork and not like they look in nature. I would say that working on these kind of ocean themed canvases is a little bit of the story of my life. I was born in California. I grew up on the east coast of Maryland. I've lived in Ohio on the lake and uh, I'm in Naples, Florida at the moment. I've, I always like to live near the water. Just always had a fascination with undersea life and uh, its beauty and my work. I'm certainly not trying to improve on nature because they're as beautiful as they'll ever be when they're in the water, but I like to think that I'm enhancing their own natural beauty and, and, and just kind of putting my touch on it. It's pretty neat to buy them from the person that actually caught the fish maybe 40 or 50 years ago. You know, they've gotten decades of enjoyment from it on their walls at home and maybe they're moving or downsizing or something like that. and. Uh, They've just been thrilled that I am going to take it and breathe new life into it and that the fish will find a new home and, and be enjoyed by someone for a couple decades more. The reactions I've gotten to my work have really been just wonderful and, and um, I have such fun doing it that uh, it, it sure doesn't feel like work to me. The photos that my customers send me, it's just so cool to see what they've done with it and you know maybe even planned a room around it. Just, just neat to see it hung. A lot of, a lot of personal pride in that.